Hello guys, I'm so glad that you were able to make it to my meeting. Well, we didn't want to be in your meeting, Microsoft. Okay, so we're gonna discuss the final stuff that we're gonna be adding to Minecraft 1.9, okay guys? Ah, fine. Okay, any ideas? I think we should let Minecraft Pocket Edition Speed Root be in PC Edition. You know, this thing? Okay, we're doing that. I think we should add more to the end dimension. You know? And it'll be like extra islands away from the main end island. And it'll have these like purple coral like tree things growing all over the place. And it'll also have these buildings made out of end stone bricks and blocks made out of those purple plants that I mentioned earlier. And those buildings will be under these weird purple block things that throw projectiles at you that make you float. With the levitation effect. Wow, that's a good one. Next! I think there should be an offhand feature. And this feature will also allow you to be able to have a left hand option. And it can be really helpful because, like, say you went to look at a map and you went to have an empty hand for mining and stuff, then that would be possible. And so this slot right here is the offhand slot. And then you could put shields in the offhand, and you can make these things out of six planks and an iron ingot. And so there will be no more unrealistic walking swords anymore, because that's what the purpose of the shield is. Oh, that's an interesting one. Next! Um, excuse me. What, and how did a creeper even get here? So are banners already in Minecraft, or... Are those added in 1.9? How am I supposed to know? I'm the one directing this video here. And I didn't have enough time to look up on the Minecraft wiki before I made this video. Oh god. You should have thought that through, Blue Tanks Rock. <laughs> okay, carry on. All these ideas are good. But we need something bigger. We need something bigger. And something better. You know. Like what? Well, I'm glad you asked. So you know those nacho? Oh yeah, we all know them. And you know how they're crafted with these lovely golden blocks? Yeah. Well, forget about it! We're going to make those apples non-craftable. No, no! But then what will happen to the notch apple achievement? Yeah, good question. What will happen to it? It will make it to that, to that you have to eat a notch apple and to not craft one. Well, that's lame. I know, right? But I'm your new owner now, not Notch. So deal with it, Mojang. If you're gonna keep the Notch apple crafted, then might as well make a Microsoft apple. You don't like that idea? I didn't think so. But thanks for getting the idea in my head. <gasps> I just realized a better idea. Okay guys, thanks for coming back to my meeting. So, I want to show you my new idea. The attack cooldown. So what the crap is that about? Must be something bad if it's coming from you, man. Yes, sir, Reed. It will make this whole update look bad. Which is why we're doing this. Oh, wait. Sorry, Mojang. We are never doing that attack cooldown. What do you guys think? Yeah, great idea. Never ride that. Reverse psychology. Works every time. You guys, you guys said it was a great idea. All done with your hissy fit? Microsoft? Yes? I hate you. Good. So now I would like to showcase the feature. So as you can see, it 
like, takes forever to, like, spam click stuff. Actually, you can't really spam click anything. Because it's not gonna work. And it'll, like, create this little line underneath the hotbar. So it doesn't let you spam click, and if you can't spam click, then you will die. And that's the best part of this whole entire thing here. Also, don't I look good in glasses? And why don't you think I look good in glasses, huh? Oh, sorry, was that our cue? Nope! So the attack cooldown is also good for PvP mode. Because if you can't spam click, you will die. Which makes the attack cooldown so... <laughs> got one question for you. What are you doing here? I got one question for you. What is it, Notch?